What's up guys, the Bobcat here, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Last time, we entered Drang Lake Castle and have uh, slowly been making our way through it. We had got to uh, this room last time, where there's these uh, sort of statues, uh, well, not statues, um, yeah, I'd call them statues actually, that shoot poison if you hit them. So we are going to be continuing on. Now, what else has changed? Ooh, this doesn't look too pleasant. Are you going to turn? In fact, we can hit them, can't we, if they're... Nope. I guess they're statues. Now, if I remember correctly, this door leads to a room filled with masks that shoot poison arrows. So I'm probably going to get poisoned in here. Oh, there's a chest. It said liar ahead, so I'm not sure if that is a safe chest or not. Oh, I see how this works. Mm. So this is not a mimic, by the looks of things. This chest isn't here in the Dark Souls uh, 2. Not Scholar of the First Edition. But I guess I know what's going to happen. Yep. So, Brave Warrior and Twinkling Titanite. Very nice. Oh, and now they all shoot poison. Okay, where's our... We've got 17 poison moss. Might as well chow down on it. No reason to suffer through the poison. Now what's out here? Oh, I know where we are. Are you going to turn? No. Uh, this room here used to be uh, filled with cyanite. Apparently it still is, but most of them are statues. Oh, I speak too soon. Ha! God Rick. I think I'm also going to, after killing these guys, do a little bit of a audio tweak. I feel as though the game audio is a bit too loud. So, after these guys are dead, I will knock them down one peg. Just to be sure, because this is actually quite loud for me at the moment as well. Oh, how did I miss that parry? Ooh. Hey, there we go. Well, apparently he died. Where do I his animation didn't work? Well, regardless, let's turn th these down. Well, just that one down a notch, I think. Did that work? Yep. Hopefully it's not too quiet now. I'll have to check uh, after this recording is finished. Now this portrait, if you go too close to it, it curses you. And yet it's a portrait of the Queen. So... That's interesting. Now, if I'm not mistaken, usually there's an invader who appears here somewhere. Also, it feels like some of these guys are going to come to life. Yep, there is. Nameless Usurper. We'll uh, fight them in just a moment after we deal with these guys. Oh, it's like another sign. Knight spawned. Well, there Nameless Usurper is. Uh, they were in the... Um, I see original Dark Souls 2 as well, so no change there. Let's get rid of her. And yes, this is a female. We'll be seeing her a few more times before the end, or before we finally uh, deal with her, I should say, once and for all. Now then, if we head down here, there's a bunch of these statues. Are any of you going to come to life? Well, one of you is. So let's get rid of you. Go, we dropped something. Still wearing the covetous gold serpent ring as well. But there's a door here. Leads to a hidden bonfire. So let's light this. We're not going to rest because I don't want enemies to respawn. And we haven't used any Estus flasks, so I feel fine not resting. And now we can continue on up through Drang Lake Castle. Uh, I believe there's actually a boss fight ahead of us, if I'm not mistaken. Ah. Apparently... Wait, what? It must be after this room. Anyway, that's the Queen. We're going to be... I'm going to be quiet while we speak with her. You have fought admirably on your journey, cursed undead. 
I am Nishambra, Queen of Drang Lake. A true monarch carries the weight of their souls. The last king of this land, King Vendrick, as he was called. He found the strength to rule his people, and when the undead were born, cursed. He found more strength to face them, but in the end, he never took the true throne. Visit Vendrick. We have no need for two rulers. So yeah, I was trying to swap to my binoculars then. And no, I didn't forget to unmute myself. But that's Nishandra. Um, she's not nice, let's say. So we'll be again seeing her again a bit later. Now this is a uh, boss fight. Who do we have? Ooh, Pilgrim Beltler. Sure thing. She helped us out on the Rune Sentinels fight, if I remember correctly. Now then, uh, I would don't want the Covetous Gold for this fight. I would like to have the Covetous Silver. Because we get souls, not items. So, let's get that on. And now it's a twin Dragon Rider fight. One of the Aspo. This guy has a Hobbit. If we get him to knock down this uh, podium, which he can do, there we go. The one with the bow falls down. Uh, the one with the bow is significantly squishier than the guy with the uh, halberd. Although they both do have halberds, if I remember correctly. So, as soon as I get a nice open uh, shot on him, I will take it. Okay, there we go. Should be good enough. Yeah, look, he's got virtually no health. So, a couple of good swings and he'll be dead. Not be switched over to his halberd. There we go. Um, I think you can parry the Dragon Rider, so I'm going to give it a try. Oh, you can. You can't get a repost, unfortunately. He's same as the um, Pursuer in that respect. You can parry them, but you can't get repost off on them. Ooh, far too soon on that one. I don't know if you can guard break them, either. Nope, you can't. That shield is a bit too heavy to be guard broken. Well, he's dead. Not particularly difficult. Just knock the other one down, kill him, and then focus on the other one. Goodbye, Bell player. Thank you for your assistance. Now then, there should be... Hey, it's Benhart. It's like the bonfire. We will be resting at this one. But let's uh, speak with Benhart a little bit. Oh. Well met, friend. Could you see you well? Yes, <laughs> very good indeed. I journeyed from the distant east to perfect my swordsmanship. The legend has it that powerful beings slumber in this land. A sword has been in my family for generations, and only a real man can wield it true. I may face any man or a man or beast, but none shall be a match for my sword. <laughs> this land is a right mess, eh? King's gone. The people have a mad glint in their eyes. The land itself is overrun by terrible beasts. No better place to test my sword, eh? <laughs> This land is the right king's the land, no bit. I know how you get Benhart's gear, but I'm not sure how you get his sword. So, I will have to uh, try and find out how. Um, this way is not the right way. I don't think you can get through the door at the top of there. I think this is a shortcut route. So we have to actually unlock the shortcut first. Which we'll be doing. Ah, now I know where we are. Uh, this elevator is not uh, open, and 
Yeah, we need a key for that door. So let's head up the ladder, for it is the only way we can go. Eventually we'll be back to this room. In fact, I'm pretty sure that door leads to the boss. So, yeah, we'll have to uh, come back later. This is one long ladder. Anyway, we can open this door though. And this door leads to a room filled with stone statues and a golem. Any of you going to come to life? Well, I know they are. Just which ones? You! Okay. Really? They're probably going to come to life when I try to open the door, aren't they? Oh! What are you doing here? That's a ghost. Usually they you only see them in the crypt. Strange what the one's doing here. And yes, I just mumbled that sentence. Uh, really now, none of you are gonna come to life? I know some of them do. Okay. I guess not. Weird. Uh we have some chests here. Oh, Oh! Mannequins. Well, we can use one of them instead. I think you have to pull this, uh, get this golem to come to life. To unlock something. I forget what it is, though. So, better safe than sorry. There we go. Oh, God. He nearly killed us. And we're also bleeding, which is not ideal. Yeah, bleeding can be quite nasty. But he's dead. I think this guy unlocks the elevator if I'm not mistaken. Just watch it from here, see if it starts moving. Yep, he unlocks the elevator. We'll be heading up there. So, we'll see it a bit later on. Now then, there are some chests here. Visions of treasure. Don't think any of these are mimics. They don't look like it. And again, we haven't found all the mimics. We're missing three of them if I'm not mistaken. And we can check if we look at our armor selection. Um, yeah, so we've got the dark gloves. If I can actually scroll to them properly. Got the dark gauntlets, the dark leggings, and that's it. So we're missing two of them. Because each mimic contains a piece of the dark armour. Uh, at least that's what I noticed from it. So we'll uh, see if we can find the other two. Cell Sword Lewitt. Ah, nice to see him again. wonder if. Ooh. Really? Okay. Um, come along, why not? He's only a shade, so he won't stay for too long, but if it's a chariot here, why not summon him? The reason his eyes glow red is because of a uh, ring, which lures or makes enemies focus on you. At least that's what it's supposed to do. I don't actually know if it does that. But yeah, that's what it's meant to do. Um, I see some Iron Knights up there. Ooh, did our shield just do nothing? Well, go on, though. It's, uh, get its attention. Ooh, it's got quite a lot of health for this thing. Wait for our stamina to recover. Then we'll go in again. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, I didn't. I thought for a second, then I missed the second swing. Come on. Uh oh. Yep, I knew that was going to hurt. Didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. That didn't work, however. Also, I hear a knight coming in to intervene. Ooh! Hammer wielding one. Ouch. Well, you're going to need like, to stop for a second while I deal with this uh, horse. Okay, it didn't stop at Lewitt. Well, thanks anyway. He is certainly being useful though. He is taking the aggro. At least some of it. Oh, we actually got this guy's weapon earlier. That's what was in that chest with all my hammer. Task complete. Cell Sword Shade. Cell Sword Lewitt has returned to their world. Oh, and we got Grower's Ring of Protection. Grower's Ring of Protection. Uh, reduce damage taken from behind. The Ring of the Assassin Grower, who has killed half a dozen kings, several distinguished clergymen. 
or and several distinguished clergymen. Reduces damage taken from behind. For an assassin whose life is always at stake, a greatest liability is is one's exposed back. Now if we put it on we see we get this like thing holding onto our back. Which looks weird as hell. Thought it was more invisible than that. Well anyway, it essentially removes backstab damage, if I remember correctly. So it can be very useful. Might use it if I do some PvP. Can never be too careful of backstabs. Wonder if there's a secret door here. Nope. Okay, well we'll go upstairs first and clear it out up here. Uh, there's another one of these. This well, bleh, bald knights. I forgot the name then for a second. <laughs> you just did have a little jiggle then. Oh, okay. That's not good. They're both coming after us. Well, I think we break lock on, run past them, take a bit of damage, get our bow on, and use poison arrows. Because we have them, so why not? Also, let's make sure we stay fully healed, because these guys hit like trucks, apparently. I am nervous getting this close to them. We're on the stairs now, so we shouldn't... Uh, or we should be a little bit more safe, because their attacks will go over the top of our heads. With any luck. You can get poisoned yet? Come on, become poisoned. Really? Can you, like, not get poisoned? That's weird. Usually, most, if not all, enemies can be poisoned. Well, this just made it a bit more difficult. So apparently you can't poison these guys. Well, how much for it but to try and get them to attack. You can get them to attack, dodge it, then move in for a swing. Oh, wow. So apparently we still do a huge amount of damage to these guys. Yeah. Okay, then. These guys are just as weak as their other counterparts. Strange why the first attack didn't seem to do that much. Unless it did and I wasn't paying attention, which very well could have been the case. Are you a mimic? Nope, you're not. No horrible teeth inside it. What's in here? Ooh, Firestorm. A pyromancy. We're not going to be using it because I don't use pyromancies on this character. Again, I said this in a previous uh, part, that I would be creating another character or a few others that actually do use that sort of stuff. Oh, okay then. Now this one, if you look at the front, it's got that latch on it. This one definitely is a mimic. I swear that other chest back, all the way back in the Black Gulch had a latch on it. Well, anyway, best thing to do is just uh, kill it. I think they have about 1,000, 1,200 health, so... We also got the washing pole, which is interesting to see. And what else? Was it a covetous something? Did get a covetous ring? I really should have paid attention to that. Thankfully, I recorded it, so at the end of this part, I can always go back and check. But we got the uh, washing pole. Where is it? My inventory is so cluttered. I need to sort this out, but I like having weapons on me. I've uh, gone past it. It's a katana class weapon. Um, I should I should be able to find it. I know what it looks like. There it is. The washing pole. A katana of unknown origin, crafted with a peculiar yet refined technique. The extremely long blade allows for strikes from great distance, but its construction makes it, bleh, makes it extremely fragile. I apologise, I haven't had food yet, and my mouth is a bit uh, all over the place. Probably going to get something after I've recorded this part. Stop myself uh, slurring my words. But yeah, washing pole is a katana class weapon. Mm, don't usually use katanas myself. I use them for a bit, but I just... The damage seemed to be lacking on them. So up there, apparently there's a gargoyle. And an old captain. Well, a long knight captain. Who we can just shoot with poison arrows. Ooh! Could really do with that Claranthi ring plus three as well. Which we get from the Executioner's Chariot, which I never managed to kill. Well, I killed it once, just didn't manage to get it the uh, second time on New Game Plus. We'll go back and get revenge on it. 
No doubt. Ooh, this is a horrible room. Desert sorceresses. Just what I wanted to see in close quarters. They do so much damage. And now we've got to fight our way back there. Ugh, wonderful. Hopefully that chariot, um, the executioner's horse thing won't respawn. If it does, well, we can run past it. Either way works for me. Let's get these back on. No reason to stay non-human. Oh, we're actually starting to run low on um, life gems. We'll head up that lift once we actually get back and complete the full circle. Damn, those pyromancers hurt. Hmm. If that uh, attack of theirs hadn't hit me for the first time, then I would have been fine. Would have been able to kill her, no trouble. But obviously, it took away half my health. No! Not again. Not this time. Now then, there should be some mannequins in the roof up here, or in here, there we go. Oh, swung far too soon. Not bleeding me again. Now, let's see if that horse is there. Uh, it is not. Perfect. And he's going to run straight past. Let's get our bow back on. Shoot it full of, shoot the uh, captain full of poison arrows. One, two, three, four, dodge. Then we have these two to deal with. What's the best way to do this is a question. Um, can we shoot you without the other one? Apparently we can, so I'm just going to do it this way. Guy above has died now from the poison. Plunk her full of arrows. Okay, wait for her to cast one of her spells. Oh, that one is so quick. Don't you kill me. You're not killing me. I need my souls back. I don't want to lose all those souls we had. All 70,000 of them. And you need to not be here as well. Now then, what's this item? The pear powder and the flame butterfly. Any more of those things? Good. As I mentioned earlier, this door is the one we can't open from the other side, but this completes the full circle that I mentioned. Leads back out to here. Uh, we still need to go above though and finish off what's up there. Then we'll head up the lift and get that little area started. It's not um, necessary, but I like to do it anyway. Now is this gargoyle going to come to life? Apparently there's water on this roof. What am I missing? Oh, there we go. He does come to life. When if he's a special one? Apparently not. Still does a bit of damage though, so... Let's try not to... fall off the roof, I was going to say. Can he actually get back up here? If not, then plunging it down. That didn't do as much as I thought it would. Well, our sword does a decent chunk of damage. So that works. Let's try and open that door up here because I do not remember seeing that door before. Unless I always just ignored it, which very well could be the case. Oh, okay, it's a fake door. Very funny. Uh, one second. Okay, sorry about that. What's in this chest? Ah. Ooh, an Estes last shard. Perfect. We will have eight of them now, I think. Well, it's now that I'm found it, finding them all. I never actually found all twelve, I don't think. I usually missed one or two. Anyway, let's rest. Might as well. And we will head up the elevator and see what's up there. Well, I know what's up there, but I wonder if it's changed. And then we'll head through that door. This is a really long elevator ride as well, so... it's gonna take a bit of time. 
there's not much you can do. I don't think there's any place you can jump off to. Uh, can can't even see any further up. Any second now. He says, waiting patiently for the uh, exit. Yeah, it's a really long elevator. Don't fall off either. Hear some jingling on the side of this door. Are there any enemies up here? No, but there's this guy. Need the key to the embedded. And in there is a Melfinito. We will be seeing them actually very shortly because we're about to head to Shrine of Amana. Oh, wonderful. Just realised we're about to head to Shrine of Amana. Perfect. Uh, Shrine of Amana being the arguably worst place bar the frigid outskirts from Ivory King from the uh, Ivory King DLC and we got the key to the King's Passage which is the uh, door down here so yeah we'll be seeing that guy again a bit later once we get the key from Shrine of Amana you can see the bomb I don't think you could survive falling off this elevator and I'm not about to try it either I'd rather not waste the humanity or human effigy Still, we have a boss fight coming up, and we can summon Benhart for it, and hopefully, with any luck, Benhart will survive. Because that will allow us to complete one, well, one quarter of his quest. And I don't know if we've killed another boss with him. I don't think we have. I'm not sure, though. Did we summon him for... No, we didn't summon him for Scorpioness, Najaska, or whatever her name was. Yep, there's the boss fog. Uh, in this hallway, there's a bunch of these statues. Uh, some of them do come to life. In fact, some of them can drop really nice stuff. If I'm not mistaken, what is this? Can we kill it? Apparently not. Praise the sun. Uh, oh yeah, I knew there was an item. An alluring skull, times three. So, some of these come to life, like that one there because it's got a head, the other ones don't. If you, you can kill them really easily when they don't, well, when they're in statue form. But if you do, you don't get the drop from them. Also, apparently it wakes up the other ones. Uh, these guys are really nasty. Well, apparently we do deal decent chunk of damage to them, so I guess they're not as bad as I remember. But for our stamina to regen though, Gonna drop anything? Okay. They should drop something. Ooh, who is this? I'm guessing this is a player because it's a red summon. Uh, someone wanting to do PvP there. I think we'll get that crystal a bit later on. Or oh, that soap's done, I should say. I believe this is Benhart. No, it's, As it's Ashen Knight Boyd. Another person. This is Benhart. Well, I do not mind summoning both for this fight. Uh, we don't exactly have a long time left though. Still, I might be able to do it with the time we have allotted to us, which is 1 minute 30. Ooh, maybe not. Hmm. Well, I think... Oh. Sure, why not? We'll give it a try. I'm probably not going to make it on time. I don't like running over 30 minutes. It's makes processing videos a lot harder to do because they take a lot longer. But we've got Boyd, we have Ben Hart, got the Ring of Steel protection on. In we go. Looking last night. That is a very strange hitbox he has. But he has a big shield and you can't hit him with that shield. That shield blocks everything even when he's not blocking. So if you, hit, if you hit it, you don't do any damage. Very important thing to note. Now hopefully, Void and the other guy, and uh, Jugo, Jugo, Benhart will survive. Just burst him down as quickly as possible, we have 20 seconds. We can use this. He will power up at some point and summon a NPC to 
Vader. Vader's essentially in the boss fight. He can also summon other players, if I remember correctly. Yes, he bounced off the shield there. He is doing work on Ben Hart. Yeah, I really hate his shield. It blocks so much and staggers you. One of his charge attacks. Thankfully, he was going for Ben Hart and not me. Uh, we're 14 seconds over. Okay, he's going for it. Now he gets hyper armor in this time. So there's that. But we should be able to kill him. Yeah, he's dead. And this is just the uh, standard NPC. Who's disappeared? Oh. Oh, I didn't make it in time. Oh well. I hope you all have enjoyed. And, going back inside where it's not raining, I will see you all next time.